Okay. Now, based upon the recommendations that a lot of you are saying I should try doing, is sticking the steering wheel mounted down from the roll cage here. Well, I've thought about that, doing that, but I don't want to do that because in the event that I ever hit anything and it causes these to bend in, I don't want it to collapse my steering wheel down onto my legs. So what I'll probably do is I'll set the steering wheel up about right here. It's going to come straight down. The support's going to come down, branch off straight, and then arc a little bit right here. Um, I'll obviously put some foam on there and stuff. I'll probably put in some uh, triangulation bars more up toward the front, front right here going up to there because lifting my legs up over the steering wheel to get out that's not that big of a deal this seems like a pretty good spot right about here uh, or maybe I don't know maybe putting something arcing off of here and going in still haven't quite decided so I most likely will put something right here just because not only having something here is going to be strong for this but in the event that I ever wanted to try to make this or get this street legal, I could put a mirror right there so I can see behind me because you should have mirrors on street legal machines. So I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, I got the box in the mail today. So there's the driver and here's the driven. Sweet. Now let's cut this open. So we can see these. And I'll leave links down in the description of this video where you guys can get these. Yeah, I got the driven right here. Yeah. Good and shiny. Look at that. There we go. So we got the torque converter now for the full screen machine. And now all I really need to do is get the engine and I need to build it all up so I can figure out what side of the belt I'm going to need to get. I'm going to try to get the same type of belt that I got before, so which means that. Between these two points need to be about 10 inches. Ooh, I'm so excited. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what I'm using as a template for my rear end. Yeah, the box that the engine came in. <laughs> I thought that since the engine comes in this size of box, it would probably be a good idea to use this as my filler because if the engine goes in there and I design my frame around the box, the engine's obviously gonna go in the box, go in the frame. So, I'm going to be uh, bringing bars down, going up underneath. I have a shipping box and a board up underneath here to raise this up to the distance that I want it to be at. And uh, yeah, so I decided to use this as my template instead of going and taking the engine off of the Batmobile and you know trying to you know pretty much mounting it where it's sitting now where this box is sitting I might as well just use the box now I'm still gonna have to get I have to get three sprockets for it because I've got to get the jack I've got to get the jack shaft I've got the uh, torque converter leading down to a jack shaft and then from the jack shaft sprocket over to the pivot sprocket and then another sprocket on the pivot leading back to the sprocket on the axle so I'm looking at still having to order a jack shaft and three axles or three uh, sprockets and then uh, building up the rear end frame now I've also been thinking about a few other little little attachments on this I was thinking about putting an alternator on it so it can and a battery because uh, I should have enough room in here to put a battery uh, so putting lights on it KC lights stuff like that putting some LEDs 
Um, it's kind of neat because I can put LEDs right here, casting back onto the tires. I might put some red ones because I still have some of my red LEDs left. So I might do that. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, just various different places where I can put these things at. And if I had an alternator that would be hooked up to the... Uh, well, I'm going to have to get another jack shaft also for the pivot section. So if I had a third sprocket... Well, the idea that I first came up with was that to have uh, a sprocket on the engine leading down to a jack shaft that would have the uh, torque converter on there. So that way, as the engine's running, the torque converter can be operating, spinning, I'd have another sprocket going up to an alternator. So I could just leave this thing idle and still have juice being supplied to everything. Once the RPMs build up with the with the one to one ratio, I'd be able to, you know, the torque converter would kick in, go down to the pivot, and then go down to the axle. That was one way. The other way is just the normal way, like I just explained before, where I have the torque converter on the engine going down to a jack jack shaft, then from a sprocket going down to a the pivot jack shaft, and then going off to the axle. But if I put on a, an alternator, then the alternator will only charge when either one of the jack shafts are rotating. So, I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. So, yeah, I'm not really too sure what I want to do. It would be kind of nice to have the thing idling and have lights on just in case something happens or I'm out somewhere or whatever and I need to leave the engine running and I've got light. But, I don't know yet, it would be simpler and cheaper to go with the normal generic route, torque converter on the engine, going down to the jack shaft, instead of having the torque converter on a jack shaft, rotating. Because the torque converter has a one inch bore on the driver, and I've got a one inch axle about so long. So I could use that one inch axle as a jack shaft. But, yeah, I don't know. If I did it that way, it's going to be more expensive. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's what I'm doing with the rear end up to this point. This is what I plan on doing. Uh, when it comes to the driving, I'm kind of up in the air about that. One's going to be more expensive than the other one. Got to get pillow block bearings for everything, you know, so still don't really know what to do with that. But for right now, I'm just going to focus on getting, figuring out how I'm going to set the engine up. But anyways, I would like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Hope you guys are learning something from my meandering. And we still have stickers and we now have t-shirts over on Sulphur City Homestead website. So go over there and check out the t-shirts the, the and the stickers. And I, I still have a few of my own stickers over on my website, so you can go check those things out. I'm going to calm down on putting the videos up for about a week here, you guys, because my mom's flying in all the way from my hometown, and she's coming to visit me, and I haven't seen her for like seven, eight years, so she wants to be here for my birthday. And so I'm going to be spending a lot of time with her. Uh, so I won't be uploading any videos as far as I know, but anyways... That's where I'm going to be at for about a week. And I'll see you guys later. Wish me happy birthday. Bye-bye.